At Buckley's Entertainment Centre Geelong, you'll get the VIP treatment when you join up as a loyalty member. Enjoy all the benefits and rewards just by enjoying the facilities at Buckley's Entertainment Centre. The dining choices at Buckley's are superb, offering daily specials, theme nights and most of all, exceptional value. The kids can enjoy the large playground while you enjoy dining in the bistro. So whether it's the entertainment, the newly renovated outdoor area or the great family environment, you'll have a ball at Buckley's Geelong. Welcome to another installment of GDFL TV, and it is Encompass Round. That's right, we have the ninth edition, Belmont versus Winchelsea. But before we talk to the clubs, let's talk to Brad Smith, chairman of the Geelong Umpires. Brad Smith, this is a very exciting time for everyone at the Geelong Umpire. It's the ninth edition of the Encompass Cup, but for those who have no idea what I'm talking about, take us through the background. It is the, the ninth year. The Encompass Cup is a cup that's sponsored by Encompass Community Services here in Geelong. Um, and what they do is they help people uh, with disabilities uh, stay involved in the community. So our part in that is being involved in sport, umpiring specifically, and we've got some umpires, quite a few umpires, um, that suffer from disabilities, different disabilities, each has his or her own disability. But by umpiring, we can show what they can do rather than people saying, well, you've got a disability, you can't be involved. We can actually highlight you can be involved and you can be a major part of the great game of AFL. Often in front of this camera I talk to coaches and the coach will compliment the player, the captain, the full forward, the ruckman. Could you please tell us some of the names of these All Abilities umpires and just how proud they've made you guys each week? Yeah, this, this weekend uh, in the centre, in the field, we've got Daniel Dawling, Jess Crescetti and Dave Fraser and they're regular senior umpires so this isn't... Uh, like a, a reward for them, they're, they're umpiring senior football every week. Um, and, you know, some people say, when we speak to them in the crowd, they say, oh, but I see them each week. I didn't know they had a disability. No, that's right, because they're just part of the umpiring fraternity and that's what we try and promote. And in the goals, there's Jake Baker-Brooks and Terry Maloney. Yeah. I know Jake's had a very tough couple of weeks being a Richmond supporter, so hopefully uh, this game will go better for him. But let's just start, move forward. We're going to talk to the two captains now that are going to play off on Saturday. But until then, is it too late for people to join the umpires this year? Not at all. We'd, we'd encourage you to come down. Um, we can get you involved in footy right from the get-go. We'll get you some training and some skills. Um, we've got great coaches here, a lot of them with AFL experience. Um, and a great support network so by all means come on down get involved and if you think that you've got um, something that may hold you back we'll find a way to get you involved. Well, you've heard it first here we're at Kidinia Park they train here twice a week Mondays and Wednesdays. Mondays and Wednesdays that's right Alex. Yeah. I couldn't think of a better way to enjoy my Mondays and Wednesdays so thank you very much for joining us and best of luck to everyone on Saturday. Great thanks for your time Alex. We have a big two weeks for the Winchelsea Football and Netball Club I'm joined by their co-captain in senior football Byron Matheson or Bozzer as he's affectionately known to our many supporters you must be excited about playing Belmont and then having the Sunday match against Geelong West. Yeah, no, it's good. It's not just a couple of two weeks. It's a full month. A really big opportunity for us with uh, playing the teams that are around with us. Take us through the season so far. Almost got over the line against North Geelong. Not a lot of people tipped you guys, and you almost got there. And then you had a few games under lights, and one game was even, well, do we call it cancelled? Do, do you claim the win? Yeah, well, it's hard to claim that one, but uh, North was definitely one of our better efforts for the year. And then you put that against East Geelong, which was one of our more disappointing efforts, and Pole Post Hill was disappointing. But uh, we've definitely shown some good signs. Uh, talk about the new cattle on the on the ground. You've got uh, you know Jared Dunkley returned from the Western Eagles, but unfortunately he looks to be out for the season. Tell us about that, and also Alex and Hans Gubbins. You know they they brought the world. They impressed. One played into league, and they won't be playing this weekend, from what I heard. Yeah, well. I don't even know how many games I've played with Jared and we've been playing next to each other for a long time so it's disappointing to lose him so early and I don't, don't even know if he'll be able to play ever again so it's a bit heartbreaking. Um, and then same situation with Alex and Hands, they were looking really good. Hands down back was looking really good next to me and Alex down forward and they've both broken bones so put us behind the eight ball a bit. And it was a training from what I believe that it happened. It wasn't actually during the game. Can you confirm? Alex was training. Hands was uh, East Geelong. It game day. All right, but now let's look at the positives for a second. Um, you're reigning best and fairest, Jackson Smith, and runner-up Bailey Cow. I think they're racking up 10 disposals per quarter in some games, especially against Karai. You must be very impressed by that young group at the club right now. Yeah, bloody oath. Especially the new blokes that are coming as well to support them. 
but um, Bailey and Jackson definitely leading the way again. And yep, good. <laughs> You're all good. The final one. We've just seen you pose for the trophy for the Encompass Cup. It's it's a big deal to the community. Do, I, do you reckon you and Fossey are gonna, you know? do that extra bit of motivational talk before the game and that's my first question. The second question is who's the first goal kicker for the match? Who do you shine the bright light on? Um, yeah, we'll definitely bring it up before the game and um, like I said, it's the start of a big month for us so it's not just this game, it's the next four. And um, well, our first goal kicker, we'll go Jackson Smith, won't we? All right, well, you've heard it first from the Winchelsea angle. I might ask Ben Vardy the same question. So we'll see how you go, but thanks for joining us on GDFL TV, mate. Right, mate thank you. Thanks for that, Bozza. 150-game superstar for the Blues, and this guy's a superstar as well, Ben Vardy, captain of the Belmont Lions. Well, Ben Vardy is a man of many talents. He built the stand next to me single-handedly, and he's also captain of Belmont. We'll talk about the uh, tradey stuff in a minute, but a uh, big game for the Belmont Lions in Compass Cup. We're hoping for a big ground, a uh, big crowd at the Winter Resort. How, how are the boys feeling? Um, off last week, we had a bit of a, bit of a ga bad game last week, so hopefully go a bit better this week, and uh, hopefully got a couple of blokes back, so hopefully come home with a win. I've got to wear the news cap on. Can we confirm Michael Lima's out for the season? I understand it was a hit to the rib against one of the Werribee players. Yeah, it's it's hard to say with him, but um, oh, we'll just see how he goes through this week. And I haven't really I haven't seen him since the game on Saturday, so we'll see what happens tomorrow night and see how he's feeling. So. Yeah. Fair enough. Now you're playing against Winchelsea. You've had the results over them in the past. Who are the players that are new to the club this season that we might, as a media team, not have put enough spotlight on and those that are playing Winchelsea for the first time? Um, Kane Timmons, he goes pretty well and off the back flank and oh, he's been playing the forward line a bit the last, last couple of weeks, so he's one to look for. And we had a couple early in the season, but injuries has hurt us mainly, so Will Pomeran was really good out of our midfield, but... He didn't play last game, so I'm not sure if he's playing this week. But, um, yeah, been a couple of good players come in, but, yeah. yeah. Um, I think your coach, Grant Tanner, would be happy. Mitch Bull, Fraser McCarthy might be back in the next few weeks. That's a handy inclusion? Yeah, that would be very handy. Uh, Mitch Ball's the quickest player at the club, so he's real handy out in the wing. And um, Fraser's strong midfield, so he'd help us out a lot, especially losing clearances on the weekend, which really let us down a bit, so... Yep. Now, I'm just, uh, I mentioned right at the start you helped build this stand. Uh, does the extra labour during the week, does it tie you out on game day or does it pump you up even more? Oh, I don't really... It's not a huge amount of labour because, obviously, commercial, we don't... Yep. You work, we work, I work out of a boom a lot, so it's not too bad, but oh, long days take it out of you a little bit, so... Oh, sorry, you told me off camera you built it brick by brick, <laughs> but now look, enough mucking around. Let's let's be fair to him about this. This is the game of the round. Our broad, broadcast truck will be there. Who's your early tip for best on ground, and who's the first goal kicker? Um, first goal kicker, hopefully. And it can be yourself if you want. Me. Yeah. <laughs> but um, who for best on ground? Probably. Um, well, Lima's not playing. I pencil him in, but uh, probably Kane Timmons. Okay. Right, you've heard it first. We wish you best of luck and thanks very much for joining us on GDFL TV. Thanks, mate. Right. Thanks for that, boys. And remember, everyone, this game will be broadcasted on 94.7 The Pulse. We we'll hope you're listening. If not, go to the game. Winter Reserve this Saturday. Thanks. Bye for City now. City Motel Warrnambool. 61 premium and standard rooms, all with complimentary high-speed Wi-Fi. Perfect for a family getaway, function or business overnighter. The Cocktail Bar and Restaurant is a great place to meet and enjoy local produce from the surrounding district. Chef specials change daily and our signature seafood platter is a must. The Mid-City Function Centre is the ideal place for your next corporate or social event. For your first choice in accommodation and hospitality, choose the iconic Mid-City Motel Warrnambool.